Blue circle. Okay. Hold on there for Let's a minute, Jay. We'll circle. bring you in, I promise. And the circle is spinning. The circle is spinning. And oh, it happened again. It happened again. It happened again. We're live. It happened again. We're we live. live. We are live on Studio 586B yep. Stories. Ten questions today with our man, Jay Jules. Man, this has been a while in the coming. We've been trying to make this happen for, God, seems like beginning of time. <laughs> if it wasn't you, Not it was good. us. And <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, Tom, it is perfect. I'm good. I can't complain. You know, right? Stuff, but, you know, you take it day to day. That's all you can. Like, I'll tell you, I was having kind of a bummer day. I'm having some issues with my eyes today, but I think I'm going to get a yeah. parrot. I think I think I think somebody's gonna drop off a parrot. So I like man, you can't you can't call a day bad on a day when you're like yeah, and then I got a parrot. That's an awesome day, man. You 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 know that five years from now you'd be like yeah, dude, and then I got a parrot. And then I thought about my eye hurt, and I was like shit, I might get a patch. If I got a patch and a parrot, I'm like one <laughs> boat away from pirate or one leg, depending. Yeah, pirate, yeah. Right? I'm like. Oh, for that, how can I not have gratitude for that? I literally looked at Ross today and I said I would give an eye for a parrot. <laughs> if I ended up with an eye patch and a parrot, I would consider that a fair deal. I would be like, yes, yeah. eye patch and a parrot, bitches. Eye patch. Where's and a my parrot. kangaroo and my leather pants? I'm ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm from Atlanta, but I was born in New York. So. Maybe I was going in Queens, but I've been back and forth like, right now I'm in New York right now. So a little bit back and forth between the ATL and the NYC. Yes, sir. Atlanta's a beautiful town, man. It's an amazing place. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Is that where you yeah, I haven't been. I say go out there. Go ahead, brother. You're good. Experience, experience uh, Atlanta. I don't know. I don't know y'all yeah, know Atlanta no for like the first trip or uh, if y'all into that, <laughs> God, yeah, you some fine females. We got a good place. Atlanta's got the hottest females in the country. It does. Oh, yeah, most I mean, everybody talks NYC, but those girls look like I'd break them, man. They got no hips. You get nah, that? these females, uh, they got attitude. Probably. That's all I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got attitude. Probably. They talk. They talk too much. Oh, that's too funny, man. So, so did, where'd you grow up at? Did you grow up in NYC or ATL? Did you grow up down in Atlanta then? Nah. Yeah, I grew up in Atlanta. I came up here like 2015. I, I was going through a lot of stuff. My boots kicked me out. So I came up here in New York. Hmm. So, when you look back on your first memories, though, what's what are the first things you remember growing up? Like, if you look back, close your eyes and go, what's the first thing that hits? You know what I mean? For me, it's... I have experiences, like, I can remember, like, at about three, the, the, I think of it as the first place we lived. I know from talking to people that actually have facts that there was a place before that, obviously. Um, but I can close my eyes and picture us standing at the door at night when we got the key. What kind of stuff you got in your head from when you were a kid, brother? Uh, well, you know, uh, I grew up, like, in the city, like, uh, Atlanta. Like, I don't know if I have you know, Centennial Place Park. There's some apartments. Centennial Place Apartments over there. And I used to stay over there. But then I used to go. Uh, I got, like, I call it my play brother. Because we know each other. He was, like, really. We used to run around apartments. We were little. I mean, I really grew up over there. Like, you know, that reminds me of a story. We talked to a guy regularly. Um, his name's Reggie. He's actually in New York where you're at, man. Guy was in the Crash Crew, uh, one of the original hip-hop bands out of New York. One of the hip-hop crews. Oh, yeah. eighth, eighth album pressed in the hip-hop genre, actually. So he was the eighth, eighth piece of plastic that we thought of as rap. But yeah. what he was talking about was the thing that ended up, why he ended up with music was he was in the right apartment. And there was a studio. There was a guy that had equipment. There were two guys, Mike and Dave. They end up started Sugar Hill Records. But th that community in an apartment building like that can be everything to you, though, when it seems like nothing's stable, don't you think? Uh, I mean, I can say it was kind of a community. Like we used to go outside, and everybody would be outside. Like all the kids we used to chill, like hang out, like on the basketball court to find something to do. My play brother, his cousins, and everybody used to be over there. Like, he, 
hockey lady. We used to play Madden at night. I don't know if y'all know that. A little Madden? Like, I think everybody knows like that. Like, how to go Right? <laughs> Did you ever play Ghost in the Graveyard? We used to play that late yeah. at night, man. Like, when it get dark, you'd go out. It's really just... Oh, no, it's, I ain't never heard of it. It was just tag on steroids. It's just at night. <laughs> you call it go, and instead of instead of you know you got to run back to base. It's you know, ghost in the graveyard. Woo! <laughs> it just means you're playing tag at night. <laughs> it's like, like remember freeze tag? Freeze was just tag with the word freeze put on the front of it. And if somebody touched you, you <laughs> right? Freeze. Yeah. It's like they did upgrade <laughs> Right. Tag 2.0. Right. <laughs> right. Well, brother, it sounds like you've been all over. The real question is, and I, you can take this question however you want it. One of the cool parts about the way we do this is it's, it's some of it's you're finding the meaning and telling us where we're going with it. So how do you work? What drives um, you? Really, I can say, like, everything I've been through. Like, I ain't going to lie, when I first started doing the music, I can't really say I had no motivation or, like, mm. nothing really driving me. I can think of it. The music I was making in 2020, some of it is in there, like, something, but uh, a lot of stuff that I've been dealing with lately, like, through my music, like, everything I'm going through, so, it's just, like, it's, like, cliche, but, you know, to make it out in you know, a situation, most of the time, we either got basketball, film, sport, or music, like, so, I don't know, I'm using music, I'm too old for the sport, but I still play basketball, <laughs> Yeah, and if y'all play basketball, y'all yeah, ever in the city, y'all can still get cooked too. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'll have to bring my brother. My brother was the pickup artist, man. He now don't get me wrong. You you laugh at me. He's fifty five now, but he was a pickup oh, yeah. artist back in the eighties, man. He loved to. Go there was a real scene in Columbus in basketball. So, like, you could go to regular parks and you'd run into like the OSU players and whatnot. And so he enjoyed. He loved. There was a level of competition, and that's. I, you know what? Music's almost harder in some ways. There's no like, where's my court? You know, yeah. where, 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 where do I where do I, where do I throw to, some balls and get better at this? Yeah. That's why that's yeah. what we're doing. We're the court. If you follow me, what we need to do is get to the point where there's little studios like us all over the world. And you know what? It's where you go shoot hoops. If what you're choosing is music over basketball, right? You know what I mean? That the problem. Yeah. Basketball, you can at least find some crappy ass hole that doesn't have a net on as long it. As somebody you got, left. As long as you got a ball and you can find a court somewhere. Fuck that, a trash good. can with a hole yeah, in the bottom. What I do. I've seen that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I go in and get out there. Play. We are that trash my mom. can. A crate with a crate with the bottom cut out of it. Yep, we are that crate. Yeah, he said we are that trash can. We are 586B, <laughs> the crate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you can tell we like to play. We we bring words and everything else. How do you? How do you? Play? Oh my God! How do you play, brother? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm a little comedian myself. Like, I like to joke around and stuff. But I don't know. I play basketball. I play music. Um, I got like a meme page on Instagram. I like buying memes. Like memes, you know, oh, nice. never go wrong with a good meme. Right. What's your meme page, um, brother? Just spark it, put it out there. Uh, it's PCR underscore entertainment. Uh, it's kind of like P dot C dot R underscore E N T on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I just tap in on that. I've been off for, for a little while because I've been focusing on the music. But it's all art, uh, man. Like, it's all yeah. art. In the end, like my big thing is, I think. So, so the reason I love talking to artists is I don't – I've come to the conclusion that it isn't about what I can see. It's like trying to understand the way other people see. Yeah. And artists bring that to me. But by artists, I mean everybody. Everybody's life is their art. It's what they're showing us, what they're creating. You can see perspective in it. You know, but when you guys create stuff, I can just see it's so much easier. You know what I mean? You can – musicians and painters and sculptors I, I can see their heart even on the days they're lying about what their heart's saying you know like we, we always talk about michael jackson that you could tell that man that upbeat pop guy was in pain you know what I, that wasn't really real mm -hmm. it's like you got to put on the front for like the entertainment side but all the time you could have a lot going on back in the background that people don't even know about 
Ain't that the truth? Well, we all put on masks. We all try and figure out who we're supposed to be where. Not who, yeah. am, not who am I, but who, who, okay, I'm in this place. I'm not supposed to be me. I'm in the other right. place. I'm not supposed to be me. Yeah. By the end of it all, do you know you who we end up hating, right? I hate me. Yeah, because, real person. Yeah, because you know yeah. you're not supposed to be that person. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, be that person. I'm telling you, bring you. That's what I, that's what I started to learn more, like, accepting it. I see a lot of people going wrong with it, but it'll be, if I'm being me, that brings me more happiness. I'm trying to. Well, it'll, be, it'll bring you the right people. You'll, yeah. find, you'll find your people. The problem is when we're when we're all trying to be something else, it's funny. Everybody's trying to be in something else, so they're all in groups that really aren't them, surrounded by other people that yeah. are really. It's like that's funny. That's just silly. <laughs> you guys are silly. <laughs> that's why I'll be by myself most of the time. I'll, only if I'm. Linking up with the bros or maybe chilling with some females, that's it. I get you. I get you. So when times are low, having issues, and you're alone, the real question is how do you pray? I mean, for me, it's meditation. It's this. For me, some of it is this very thing you're doing with me. That for me, my, my prayer for the world is to connect it. My prayer to end suffering is to go, have you met my friends? Just not like you have to. It ain't about a religion. It ain't about a, a color. It ain't about lines that say what country. It's about. Have you met my friends? Right. I know people everywhere. How yeah. could I feel good about anything bad happening? You know, they're my friends. Mm -hmm. And I know math well enough to know that if I just keep doing that long enough. See now now I now I got all of Jay Jules' friends in my back. You see right. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And Jay's definitely. got all of mine. And now, now there's yeah. a th there's a thing, and all of a sudden people are caring about each other, and it's like, whoa, that's kind of cool. It's a real connection. Yeah, collaboration. Yeah. Everything yeah. you do in this world is collaboration. Even on the days you're in your head alone, the world is still there with you. It's your influences. I tell Ross everything I ever said, I stole. Everything. During, I may put, be putting the words in a different order, but something gave that. Something brought that to me. Yeah, something influenced it, like mm -hmm. some kind of way. Yeah, it ain't magic. It's that there's a lot of shit going on around you, and of course you pick stuff up. <laughs> true, true. That's a fact. Yeah. So how do you pray? Um, I mean, me personally, like either it, I got like different ways, like through my music, through me playing basketball, I work out. Mm. Like, I go sometimes, I'll go to, like, a pier, and I'll just sit there, watch the waves, and feel, like, calm and, like, right. I don't know, it just ways to, like, soothe myself, like, you know, you need to take a breath away or a step back from everything. Ooh. Embrace calm. the pause. Yeah, take a minute. Take a step away from some stuff. Yeah. yeah. I always say, you yeah. know, sometimes you got to pause and you got to stop, you got to, I don't say words, That sometimes that happens. Sometimes you got to rest in the pieces so they can fall into place. Instead of like trying to pound yeah, them into yeah. place, sometimes it's like you step away for a minute and you go, oh, shit, I see it now. That moment is. Yeah. So, when it be too much going on, sometimes you step back. Mm. You're like, all right, let me reevaluate this. You know, I really got to go back. Maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I'm not seeing it clearly. Something. Sometimes I find I slow down. And and I realize that shoot that I'm not I'm not seeing all the opportunities even like it'll be feeling like something's going wrong and you go wait a minute there's a pivot right there that's oh shit this is actually meaningful that this went wrong right right <laughs> so what do you love uh, I don't know I guess I could say you like I could say music really because that's been what really been changing my life like I can't well I'm not gonna say change my life but motivating me lately like putting my pain like in my song like that keeps me focused uh I could say my I would say my thing but it'd be a lot of stuff going on like <laughs> you know I don't know I wouldn't be in this situation I'm in if, it had, if I had the right kind of support system and stuff. I got you but, you know that's life so I take them uh, lessons, so I ain't even stressing. 
Well, and it's how life's crafting that jewels. Was a, that was a bar. He said, I take those yeah. L's and lessons, so I ain't really stressing. <laughs> that was a bar. You should you should use that. <laughs> hey, they jewels, Pressed by they hard times. That's how jewels make a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Off the head. Right? I love it. The, you know what? Music is such an amazing thing that you can paint pictures so vivid with sounds you know what i mean that there are songs that can put me in a place or take me to a place if you know what i mean like you know it sometimes it like takes me back to somewhere i was there's songs like that but man there's some songs that take you to a place you've never been and you're like whoa some songs take you to freaking space logic the amazing journey no? <laughs> so the obvious thing though and it's what do you end up fearing it doesn't sound like it's been an easy road. Sounds like fear is the motivator sometimes, the weight of it all. But you sound like you're taking it, pressing it like a jewel. You know, like I don't even know. Yep. What do you fear? Um, we lost you. We lost you, gotta, brother. I can say, speak up. A oh, little. I said mostly. I can say is people. That's probably. How you know what? If Scooby Doo taught us anything, all the real monsters were people all along. It's it's like it's like getting it's like that getting jumbled. Is, the wind, wind is, is hard, is killing us. The wind is taking it. Yeah. So I can't hear your words, but I want to hear your words. Yeah, hear me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can hear okay, you now. I, well, I put my phone in my pocket. I don't know. I'm standing outside. I'm on the mm. Wi-Fi. I don't know if y'all know New York. They got like free Wi-Fi. I was standing outside. Hey, you're playing, no, yeah. dude. Hustle, hustle. I'm, I'm not judging. I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to, they're going to call. I friggin' love New York, man. New York yeah. is so New York, and we get it. In, like, so, don't worry. You're not the first person. We who's did had, that. We, we did the we same always, thing with Reggie. We always he, have New York yeah. in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, I'm telling you, it's coming. NYC bus. Yep. And you're on it. That I'm telling you yep. that we are, we're gonna. We're going to start connect by connecting two, two cities, cities. Yep. and then we're going to connect more cities. I bet the next one be on a different continent. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. I mean, young young RJ over here, his next song coming out was produced in Nigeria. The song coming out with it was produced in the Ukraine. Just ran, yeah, we're trying to... Go yeah, ahead. we're trying Hell to yeah. we're trying to make it international. It's something that yeah. it's something that we really feel like we want to reach out to artists that we see all over the world as unseen, and yeah. they're not being seen for the greatness that they really got inside of them. Everybody's got a story, and we want yeah. to hear it. That's it. You know, That's straight up, fact. and that that story, those stories come in so many different ways. We want them, however they get here. Right. The music, like guys yeah. like you, the guys that we got a guy, and don't be wrong, it's music again. Tony Williams, who is down right. in Maryland these days, but grew up playing uh, harmonica down at Coney Island back in the 70s, you know, busking <laughs> down on Coney Island with a harmonica and running the rides. He's another older <laughs> that we've got such a range of people and stories. We've got people we talk to that I've got a, a woman that psychic isn't how she refers to herself no she is a medium a medium yes she's a medium yes and then we have people that's not like the same thing well it's she to be you know yeah. what i don't know i don't know i don't want to I, 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 I let i let her pick her i know I, okay so here's what's crazy let me tell you this story so i i feel that same way right i go well okay yeah. right okay so you know like the zen buddhist temples in japan like the real serious like the serious monks you know i mean like they're up at the top yeah. of a mountain and all you know who they call when they're having like hauntings and stuff she spends three months a year over there in places where in general lay people are never allowed working on energy and all of that with so then you go wait a minute i trust those guys kind of that seems kind of yeah and then you, and, and then you talk to her and it's amazing it's we didn't do anything like predict this or predict that we don't do any of that but it was as she was explaining her experiences you know what? There are voices in her head, and it's worked. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't. I don't believe in magic. I just believe in stuff I don't understand yet. What do you think you know? Um, I can't really say I know a lot. I know what I see. 
I mean, but then again, things be changing. So I, mean, I think every day really has like a lot of things. What what else you is there? Yeah, like you know everything. You know I mean? most of the time, nine times out of ten, it ain't really gonna go the way how you want. You can plan it, <laughs> but it'd be a lot of things out of your control. So. It's Ain't reality. That that you you build this big ass plan in your head, and if that's what you hold on to, you're gonna be you're sad gonna every be time. S- it's gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> you better you yeah. better you better have your pivot shoes on, because man, the world's constantly <laughs> throwing opportunities. But if you've got blinders on, looking at the only way you think it can happen, that may be why it doesn't happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So what do you what do you wish you knew? Really, I don't know, because I be looking at things like, things like logic and stuff. I mean, I really don't wish I do anything goes more than what I know. But if I, you know, too much, you know, that becomes too, I don't know, because I know a lot. But the second yeah, you know think you know, but the second you say you know a lot, then all of a sudden you're shutting doors. I know what you mean. Exactly. The, yeah, the hardest, so, so I, I like to, people are like, I, I really am big on the I don't know. And people are like, okay, you know, you know stuff. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but that's not what I mean. Like, I've found over and over again <laughs> things I think I know. The next day, something weird happens. They go back and forth about whether or not I'm allowed to eat bacon or eggs. Or, you know what, tomorrow it could be different. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you never, you like, you never know. Yeah. Right? So I walk into it with the it's idea. Not so soon. Yeah. Each day's a new day. I don't, I've never For fucking, be, I've never been here before. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I was here a minute ago in that minute, but now I'm here. I wasn't. I'm not there now. I'm. I'm yeah, you get I'm me. I'm here now. Oh, that's mm-hmm. in the past. That's, right? You well, know how what? you gonna live this moment? No tomorrow, and it's like yesterday never happened because it's the only place yeah. you can do it. You know, it's just a reality. Sometimes it snows, and that's an opportunity. Right. You know that sometimes getting, you know, you end up stuck somewhere, and you got to learn stuff. Yeah. Sometimes the stuck isn't as like. We all get in. Oh man, I'm stuck. I'm off my path. No man, you're on your path. You needed to learn something there. You need to find a different route or figure right. out right. what you can use that's in this like what you thought is messing you up. Just maybe to get to the next level. Maybe what you need to do is figure out why you're stuck. You know. Well, sometimes it's yeah. not. Well, sometimes it's, it's unrelated. Right, true. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes, in general, what I've always found is I'm in my own way. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> well, gets down to the very bottom of it. You go, oh shit, I did that. <laughs> what yeah. I mean is, like, sometimes, sometimes we can be walking and we'll find a way somehow to get stuck. Somehow we get stuck. Oh yeah. It could be the I universe, it or it could be us. Show. Yeah, it makes it it makes it harder yeah. on yourself when you're not inspecting it all and well, you're then, not... well and then you second arrow yourself now you're beating yourself up for being stuck and now you're stuck on being stuck right now you're not even yeah. thinking about shit all you're sh- thinking about now is i'm stuck i'm so stuck i'm so yeah. stuck <laughs> why am i stuck i'm so fucking stuck. why am i stuck well, you, God man i have ground those ears to, to a t <laughs> <laughs> but we all get stuck in it sometimes you know what i mean every once in a while we all that's the cool thing humans are gonna human and sometimes, oh, you, you're, you know, every day's a new day. I, every day's a chance. I got a parrot today, man. A parrot. <laughs> I, there ain't not. You know what? There's no amount of unawesome that could make the day not awesome. We're talking a parrot. <laughs> no, for real. You gotta teach you how to talk to everything. He's 22 years old. My understanding is he already talks. Uh, so this is somebody needs me to take care of a parrot. So we'll see whether or not. The parrot does well, the, but there's like there's an iguana here, there's an axolotl, there's to- there's a tortoise, there's a couple turtles, lots of fish, oh, man, yeah. tons of fish. That we we kind of got the I like got that. A whole, uh, 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 <laughs> well, and I like I love having living things around me, and I I mean that from you know my two legged friends like you guys all the way down to my cat laying on the couch. Cause Suge Knight is yeah. just the coolest. He's Suge Knight's been there for me a long time. That's Our, the name of the game. I, I will give you one guess as to how big he is and what color he is. But Probably yes, like a tan color. 
Oh, come on, now he's Suge Knight. <laughs> it is the biggest, blackest cat you have ever seen. And I swear to oh. you, the, the kids, the kids came, so we, we, we ended up with this cat. And the kids came to me, they wanted to name it Sugar or Midnight. Now, this is just as straight out of Compton's coming out. So, Suge's in my mind. I mean, I'm not Dick saying that. <laughs> they literally look at me with Sugar or Midnight. And meanwhile, my wife's going, yeah. Like, but yeah, can we call him like Suge, like on King of the Hill? Can we call him Shug? There's that woman that always refers to everybody as Shug. And, hey, Shugs, what's up? Hey, Shug, what's going on? So she's literally pushing for Shug as they're saying Sugar yeah. and Midnight. So his full name is, yes, Sugar Midnight. But in the studio, he goes by Shug Knight. <laughs> <laughs> we are a little silly. We are. Shug Knight yeah. on the mic. Meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. <laughs> so when you think about it, and I know it hasn't always been easy, I know that life is a ride that you've accepted. It's got ups and downs. Why are you here? Uh, I already can't even tell. Like, maybe to get my, my music or help somebody with Whatever they going through, I don't know if I ever speak something and it'll reach somebody. And I don't know. Like, Same thing we're yeah, doing. You really never really know your purpose until, you, uh, until like, I don't know, something. History will write something different and get it know. wrong. They'll, they'll think they know what was in your head. But the reality is all we can do, yeah. throw our seeds to the wind. And where they land, they I don't know. land. So it's what we do is we bring our truth, our self, our stories. And every time, so every time I've done this, what hits me is I know your story, not in the sense that I know your story, but there are pieces of it that are me. Every time I do this, I find this connection, this, oh, damn, you know what? Life, you know what? No, I don't know my purpose. I think, I think this is my purpose. I feel more on point than I've ever been. But it's the same yeah, when purpose. You know, like when you focus in on this, mm -hmm. you got to be like, oh, I just said, I need. You're cutting it. Uh, oh, brother, you're cutting I lost out. you again. Oh, yeah. I wanted to hear that bad. I wanted to hear what you said, though. What'd you say? Jules. Jules. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, you're back. Yeah, I you're back. Yes. It happens, brother. It happens. Um, Wait, what was the question? You're good, brother. Was, we were, why are you here? We were talking about why are you here, and what we were talking about was just the fact that, you know what, when I listen to you say why you're here, what hits me is that's so much of how I feel. That the reality uh, is, uh, I, I, well, but think about it. If, if my message, if something I say, and whether it be here or as I'm walking down the street to some stranger, who knows, or whether it's our conversation today puts a, a fire in somebody... I don't know who. I don't have any. I'm planting like, trees like, that I'll. Like said, yeah. Like seeds, like, yeah. Yep. And because they may grow somewhere you don't even see. Like we go, exactly. oh, I'm not changing the world. You don't know that. You don't know yeah. that. You don't know who today you smell yeah, yeah, at walking word. down the street or all of the. Yeah. Exactly. I inspire this new kid, this person to be like, I, like, I don't know. And you don't know. Right, how to, yeah. Something well, and you, because we're planting. In the end, we get obsessed with we want to see our success. And the reality is, the most successful people we've ever known, the names we remember, they're not successful because of what they did while they were alive. They're successful because of the ripples they left when they were gone. Yeah. That's okay. And you know what, dude? I I can't wait. I I know that. We're gonna do more music together. I can't. Our our guy will be back in New York soon, and on top of oh my dude, I just have a million things going in my head. Oh my god, I can't. What part of New York are you in? Oh, uh, right now I'm in Queens. Okay. Little Queens action. Little Queens action uh, going on. Uh, Elmhurst. Where'd you say? Elmhurst. 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 Oh, okay, I've heard of Elmhurst. Yeah, my uh, my my some of my family stays stays near there. Yeah, our yeah, lived it's up like there for two, three in years. Atlanta. I've been all over. I was staying 
Archie. I was in Long Island. I've been like all over. Dude, the stories you got to tell. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we got to have you back on and tell some stories and stuff like that. And I'll tell you, if you want, I got you. I and you can always just throw down stories and then send them to us. Right. That at the same so if you want to, if you want to, if you ever just get in the mood to tell a story, you could just record yourself and then send it to us, and we'll. Well, and I think you know for some reason so we've been talking about live on the street stuff. All right. We've been talking hard about live on the street stuff. Yeah. So being able to get you like a lavalier and a mic, so you could just run around and talk to people and record it. Oh yeah, I do that. That's like uh, what's that? Side talk. NYC. I see y'all know y'all know that. They be doing that. You know, run down on people. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> You know, I gotta follow them on Instagram. They are. Mm. <laughs> we will, because I mean, the reality is, it ends up everybody has a voice, and we're in a time yeah. and a space <laughs> where we can <laughs> just take off. <laughs> but on bump <laughs> timing, that you know what? That really, it means that we can get out more stories and hear more people, and consistently yeah. just, hey, have you met my friends? I just want you. You stop people on the street. You go, hey, I want to introduce to my friends. Blah 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 blah. Right, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah, it's a I could be a connection for our lifetime. We'll figure it out. Never know. Yeah. yeah, dude. I I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Nah, I appreciate y'all for having me. We're gonna have you more though. You got you got anything you want to plug oh, yeah. before we yeah. get on? Yeah, what you got anything you want to plug, brother? Go ahead with me. Any anything where people can find your music or find your memes, brother, or anything you want to? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, well, so yeah, I'm on Instagram, um, ECR James Jules, ECR James Ellis, on Apple Music, Spotify. Oh hell yeah! It's James Jules, J A Y Space J U L S. Just tap in. That's all I ask. Pray for it out now. We're here for you. Just trying to run it up. That's it. We'll hit you. You hit us. Yeah. We actually right. right now we need 16 subscribers on YouTube. We need to get to 50 so we can go live on there too. Because YouTube hasn't had right. a big push. So, hey, hit the YouTube. Follow us up. <laughs> all right. Brother, I'll be sure right to send now. you that information. And we'll get. Let's yeah. get. All right. Shoot off in. Is, are you in the Discord, brother? Are you in the? Di yeah. I'm not sure. If I, I had a Discord, but. I know we you have told a me to make one. Uh, no, we have uh, one. We have a Discord, yeah. So if you get in it, I just want to be able to get good copies or text in Messenger all of the, uh, type your stuff out so that we can make sure we put all the links up, okay? All right. Okay. And on that note, brother, we will talk soon. I promise. Usually they're a little right. longer. I ain't been feeling good today. <laughs> Sorry. Now you good. Love you, man. I feel the connection. No, we got this. New, th great things. Right, I'm telling you, man. It's coming. I feel it. Yeah, most definitely. You guys want to talk for a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm jumping off, Jay. Yo, I'm uh, love you, brother. Thank so, you so much. Send me your, send me your, uh, most recent track that you, uh, you got.